YouTube is your boy Drug Virginia 002 and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be reacting to we're gonna switch it up a bit. Um it's called White Guy Speaks on His First Black Cookout Experience. So um I kind of want to check this out because I feel like it'll be funny and, and I think I will get a little, really good laugh out of it and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Um it just uh, if you like it just shows that you know youtube tells youtube that my video exists out there and i'll push it through uh appreciate the support thank you so much i appreciate everything you guys um you know in advance and everything like that and if you are new you subscribe if you are a returner you guys you know welcome them to the family and everything like that so with all that said guys um, let's check this out this is gonna be so funny so funny, I believe. Ah, uh, can't wait. All right, guys, let's go. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends. Okay. Okay. Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. All now, right. With that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. They never <laughs> understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Yeah. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up at <laughs> cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick -em up truck. pick -em up truck. I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkin, and me. Alright, as I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa, and his great grandma and grandpa, and his 47 cousins. Alright, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, <laughs> there's a long table. Oh my god. Where the, food's, where the food, everybody's eating that. Okay? Uh, they bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point, because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Yep. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Okay? <laughs> and I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. It's now, a setup. Apparently, just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, <laughs> I ain't been to piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay? It's a setup. So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Right on. Now. At this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, Mama <laughs> T, is what they call her. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Oh. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness <laughs> and she wants she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie now i saw friday after next i know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama i saw what happened to craig and day day <laughs> grandmama. you ain't have you ain't gonna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout there i'm you go. Like, not stupid <laughs> so as i eat this pie which i'm eating this pie because i ain't finna piss off nobody especially the head woman there because she ranked up top that's great grandma so you don't mess with her yeah I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. <laughs> as soon as I picked my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have 
I'm still in the same chair. I yep. have dealt into a high stake spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How yeah. did I get here? At what point in my life did yeah. I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? Yeah. And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got <laughs> no idea. You are in. I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, <laughs> literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So <laughs> they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game. Yeah. I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about <laughs> just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. <laughs> I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, Hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was yeah. more dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. It's like that, bro. Okay. It's like that. It's like that. Gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. And I just put some more down. <laughs> I ran out of money, which is fine. It's got to be like that, man. It's quick. Now, it's quick money. As I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck i went over to thank mama t you know i think i thank my buddy i thank everybody on the way to my truck and i've got my truck in my sights i am zero in on my truck trying to leave this place now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't <laughs> piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went whew, i made it now as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout <laughs> is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. Cause that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. You're I'm right on. Jealous. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm there going you back go. next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice, because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? What y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. Uh, there you go. There you go. Right I'm on. Like, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. There you go. Shit. Shit. <laughs> to be on Bro, I'm dying. I'm <laughs> uh, Cook up be like that sometimes, man. Cook up be like that. Hey, just glad you enjoyed. Glad you had fun, man. Trust me. Cook up be like that sometimes. I right, be enjoyed the video, guys. You know, that was fun. That was fun. Drop a like, man. Um, comment on the video and everything. Hey. If you haven't been to a black, uh, a black barbecue or a black cookout, whichever you want to call it, you need to go and experience it for yourself. Promise you. Promise you you're not going to regret it.
Let me see that. Oh. But yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be your boy, Drake Continues, News Group 2. We out. See you guys later.